this. I mean, you got real brave that he's not on the phone anymore. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time he was on the phone, you didn't hear a peep from Richie. <laughs> yeah. All right, I was Rich. Listening to you trying to ask him questions. I was trying. At least I got the questions in, and he and he made himself look like an idiot with the answers because it just it just validated my point. He blamed the wrong people. How, how can you talk to a, a drunk high person? Look, I'm not going to say he's drunk or high. I have no idea what his physical condition, mental what? condition is. But the bottom line is, he's been saying it's going on for five months. The guy who didn't even come into a conversation until six weeks ago. Six weeks. I got brought on to this about a week ago. Yeah, but he mo- he he messaged Mooch about six weeks ago, and then he messaged me two weeks after that. So this has been going on for five months, but yet he just reached out to us six weeks ago. Funny how six weeks ago was the show where Bobby Fulton and I squashed everything. So yeah, apparently Tracy didn't get the memo. Uh, maybe he's got the same brain as Rob Hoffman. <laughs> Why don't you like Rob Hawks right now? Oh, Jesus. Richie. Richie. Richie, still there? Yep. Yeah. How come you don't like Rob Hawks right Because he's a fucking <laughs> Oh, God. See, did I tell you what he did to me? I never told you what he did to me? Uh, I don't think so. This motherfucker has the nerve to fucking call Brooklyn Brawler and <laughs> I got a shot for him SummerSlam weekend. One eternity later. Who in their fucking right mind So he goes he goes to me, oh play along with it, it's just a rip. Look and Lombardi's calling me like fucking crazy. I'm I'm told Steve, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I hung up the phone with him and I never heard from him since. Uh oh. Well, there was also the uh, the Jake the Jake the Snake when you were trying to call him about the Jake the Snake issue and he was fucking with you. What happened with Jake the Snake? I didn't hear what you... He said when I spoke to him, he said that you when you had Jake the Snake in, and I guess Jake was giving you a hard time about stuff, um, that you were calling him basically crying about Jake the Snake. No. No, not at all. Well, like I said, it tells you where the information comes from because I can't take that guy for anything of what he says. And I still say... He works with Gorgeous George exclusively. Exclusively. And he also told me that he's, he bangs Gorgeous George, too. Yeah, on a regular basis. Yeah. Isn't he married? Yes. Yep. And he looks and like... fucking three dogs. And he, no, he's got more than that. He's got like eight or ten dogs. Whatever. Okay, leave him alone. I like dogs, but he looks like a garden gnome. I don't... Stop. He's the biggest dog of them all. Listen, Rob, Rob's a friend of mine. He is not. Shut up. Don't make fun of him. He I'm is... serious. I'm, I have no issues whatsoever with that guy. No, but he had no problem yeah, calling you and... Cr- he had no problem calling you and crying that I buried him because he's a bullshit artist. Well, he, like I said, he did message me telling me... What's the matter? Kevin can't take a joke or joke. He doesn't understand. Fuck you! Fuck me um, out of money. Like you don't understand that she wants to work with him and not you. How do you get something like that? Well, again, it was it was a thing where he said, it, "What you know? How does he want me to, you know, change things?" Basically, she wants to work with me, and it was never said to him. You know, he was basically defending himself. You know, of course, he was defending him himself. Asshole. Of course he was defending so, himself. The I, reason why we never talked is because he sent Gorgeous George to do the dirty work and tell me that she was going with him instead of me. He didn't even have the balls to pick uh, up a phone uh, until after I found out. I'll tell you the same thing I told him. I'm not getting involved. You don't have to get involved. I'm not asking you to take sides. I'm not asking I'm not even asking you for your opinion on it. The bottom line is I had a deal done. He stepped in, wanted to get involved. I was happy to work with him, despite everybody telling me otherwise. I was happy to work with him. He was banned from Big Event. I helped him get back in. But before that happens, Gorgeous George was told by people that he's not allowed there. If she wanted to show up, she had to go with me. She called me 
She did Okay, I didn't call her. She called me and said that she was coming with me to do the uh, Team Madness signing. And then I got a message from Rob saying he's back. He quoted Eminem that he's back, you know, doing whatever. And he said, you can take Gorgeous George. It's fine. I'll hang you out with her on Friday. I got, dude, I got all the screenshots of the conversations from day one with both of them. Okay. And then he backdoored me and sent her to do the dirty work. And then messaged me two days after she told me, asking why I was mad. He doesn't understand. I mean, come on. Are you really going to play fucking stupid? So are you guys going to kiss and make up and just do this stuff? Uh, dude, if he fucking looks at me when he passes my table... I'm going to get up and I'm going to get right in his face and I'm going to ask him to explain himself and talk all this shit that he was talking in text messages and say it to my face. And if he decides yeah, to open it, if he decides to open his mouth, I'm going to put my size 12 and a half so far up his ass, I'm going to be tying my fucking Nikes in his mouth. I don't think you can get your foot up his ass. You want to make a bet? I'll spit on the tip a couple of times. Oh. <laughs> You don't have a bowling so it doesn't solve anything, right? Okay. And it, yeah, right. And the bottom, well, SJ Trace is going to kick all ideas. But bottom line is, I still don't think he's going to show up to big event with her. So we'll see. Wait, wait. And just, just so you know, the same guy that we spoke to that was Tracy Smothers was the same guy at the gym. Was the same guy what? At the gym before. No, it wasn't. That was the same. No, yeah, it wasn't, because he guy. said, you just called Joey at the gym, my motherfuckers, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it was a different guy. Oh, oh. Yeah. Hey, I left my name, told him to call me back. He's got my phone number, because I gave it to him three times. Whatever, dude. It's over and done with in my eyes. If he wants to harass everybody, right. just block his ass. Let him be contempt arguing yeah. with himself. He thinks that, you know, what, what is he going to do? He's going to come up to big event and start a fight? He's going to get killed. Last I checked... Two is more than one. Three is more than one. He's not going to go anywhere away from his table. And, and this is what it all started. This all started at big event back in November. Because he was one of the phone numbers that was obtained to give to Dylan for his booking agency. So that that's when this all started. Like I said, I don't even know who he was. I didn't know he was there. Wait, he he got. Wait a minute. Go go back a second. He was what at big. He, he was at big event in November. Okay. When Bobby was going around collecting phone numbers from people to give to Dylan for his bookings, Tracy Smothers uh -huh. was one of them. Okay. It was Tracy Smothers, Bill Irwin, um, Wendy Wendy Richter, uh -huh. and Bob Orton. I just got a message, goof. Goof. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm going to let you guys go. Richie, thank you again. Uh, I will see you over the weekend. Yeah. RDP yeah. bringing in WWE Hall of Famer Ron Simmons and D'Lo Brown at the Saturday second half of the doubleheader of Warriors of Wrestling. Go to warriorsofwrestling.com for tickets. Rich, as always, thanks for calling. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it. Rich, right. I love you, sweetheart. I love you too, cutie pie. Oh, boy. All right. Take care. <laughs> Hello, cutie pie. All right, Mooch. Appreciate it. MZ Promotions. Check them out on Facebook and everywhere else. Um, sorry we couldn't uh, bring in Ken Shamrock, but Ken Shamrock will be showing up, though, in New Orleans for MZ Promotions at WrestleCon. So, Check them out on their Facebook page and their social media for pre-sales. And uh, I will talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, so I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, All right thanks. Take care, man. Bye. Okay, so let's get into our um, our part of the show where we're going to honor a black athlete in the uh, sport and entertainment field of wrestling. Rodney Mack, who... Um, Basically started his career sometime a little bit before 1998. He uh, trained with the Junkyard Dog. Was part of ECW in 2000. Uh, making his debut as a member of the Baldies, which uh, we had the leader of that on our show uh, two seasons ago. 
Uh, he joined uh, WWE after ECW closed their doors in 2002 and 2004. Uh, he joined up with their developmental territory, OVW, before making the main roster. He returned to uh, the independent scene in 2005, worked a couple years before returning to WWE in 2006 and 7. Once again, returned to the independent scene where he is presently at this time. Um, he's proficient in mixed martial arts. He's married to, of course, uh, the lovely Jazz, who uh, was our feature last week. And um, he's held ver- numerous titles, including, let's scroll down because there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, let's see. He held the WWX Heavyweight Championship, the Voodoo Wrestling Championship. He's part of the Texas Wrestling Hall of Fame. Pro Wrestling Illustrated uh, once rated him as high as number 85 of 500 single wrestlers in 2003. He was the OVW Southern Tag Team Champions with Shelton Benjamin. He held the NWA Velocity IPCW Heavyweight Championship, the NWA Texas Heavyweight Championship, the NWA Mississippi Heavyweight Championship. And let's see. Titles in Allied Independent Wrestling, the All American Wrestling, Elite Championship Wrestling, Frontier Wrestling Alliance, Insane Hardcore Wrestling, Iconic Heroes of Wrestling, Lone Star Championship Wrestling, and many more. So, I mean, he's held probably, I would have to say, over 30 titles in the, on the independent scene. He's also trained Jazz, Kevin Douglas, Trudy Danucci, uh, Manimal, Byron Wilcott, Chris Chronic, J.D. Carey, Payne, and Christian Cross. Um, you can check him out of, on uh, Facebook and, of course, social media. So we want to give a shout-out, of course, to former ECW and WWE star Rodney Mack, who we also said will be joining us at WrestleCon April 6th and 7th in New Orleans. You can visit d365promotions.com. Upper right-hand corner, you click on that pre-sales link, and you can purchase tickets for Jazz and Rodney Mack. Uh, You can get photo ops, autographs, combos, additional items, cards, you name it, we'll have it. Uh, They're one and two of the 13 people joining us at WrestleCon. You can check that out, wrestlecon.com for all the guest lists of us and everybody else that's attending the show. It's going to be freaking awesome as we were talking about it earlier with the guys on the show. So uh, at this time, you know, I ask that you please help control the nitwit population and have your friends spayed or neutered. On behalf of myself... Thunder Rosa, Dave Mooch of MZ Promotions, Richie DeGreg of RDP Promotions, and Joe Bellini of Warriors of Wrestling and WarriorsofWrestling.com. I ask that you please have a great night and continue to support great independent wrestling. And you can start by doing that Friday in Staten Island, New York for Warriors of Wrestling. Saturday, doubleheader, the women of Warriors and Warriors of Wrestling live from Brooklyn, New York. Of course, WarriorsOfWrestling.com for tickets. We look forward to seeing you there. Please come out tomorrow night in Staten Island for the fundraiser show for the family of Frankie Getz, the former sergeant of the MYPD. We'll be doing, of course, our sales and donating 50% proceeds to his family. So we look forward to seeing you all at Warriors of Wrestling this coming weekend. Take care, folks. (laughs) 